Hey everybody, this is Keith Perkins with a P10 ADOS video sponsored by Autel. In today's video, we're going to talk about regular repair procedures that you would encounter in a normal repair shop that would prompt a ADOS calibration. This 2019 Lincoln Navigator behind us, the front grill came off during the replacement of the AC condenser. Pretty normal repair. But this is going to require a 360 camera calibration because the camera was removed off of the vehicle and reinstalled. No camera was replaced, no grill was replaced, only the AC condenser. But Ford has a job aid and specific service information requiring that this calibration is done anytime that procedure happens. So to do this procedure today, we're going to be using the Autel IA900 along with the targets that came with our kit and the Ultra tablet that comes with the tool. Uh, these work fantastic together. We're going to be able to navigate all the service information, even if we decide to use OE service information, and then perform the entire procedure on the tablet all by itself. We could even perform the digital vehicle inspection or the rest of the setup procedure directly off of the tablet. All right, so we're going to start the process by going in and scanning the vehicle. We're going to go to auto detect and let it ID the vehicle. Select that it's Ford. In this instance, we're not going to attach a repair order number to this. We're just going to go to standalone. It's going to decode the VIN. Confirm that that all information is correct for the vehicle. And we're going to perform our fault scan of every module in the vehicle. This happens relatively quickly. And we've got a few faults as the front grill was off of this vehicle and most likely the key was probably cycled on during that period of time. Since we're going to go directly to an ADOS calibration, we're going to go ahead and select that and go to our IPMB, the image processing module B, which is the camera that was moved and the system that is affected by this calibration. We're going to put in the tool that we have repaired our components that are equipped with a panoramic camera or may affect camera installation because we moved the front grille. And we're also going to go ahead and put that we adjusted the position of one of the cameras on the vehicle body because both of those statements are true. These are going to go into our port when we get done. It's going to go through a list of all the tools needed to do the calibration. Let us know the amount of free space required around the calibration and that it must be well lit and no other objects in the calibration area. After going through what tools are required, and some conditional settings for the vehicle, letting us know that we need to make sure the vehicle is in park, that the mats are clean and in good condition, all the camera lenses are clean, which we went through beforehand and actually went and cleaned them manually with a microfiber cloth as laid out in service information. Now we're given our measurement instructions for how to set up the mats. We actually already have those set for you, and we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the calibration. Luckily, it's very clear instructions laid out in the Autel tablet. These are derived directly from OEM service information, but laid out in a way that make a lot of sense for a normal day-to-day -day repair. Continue through the menus here. And now we're gonna have to move to the vehicle to do the actual calibration. So it says the rear view camera will be activated when the transmission is shifted into gear reverse and then start the panoramic system in the center console display. So, Zach, if you want to go ahead and put the vehicle into reverse. We'll press OK. And then we're going to press OK to start the camera calibration process. During the calibration process, we're going to see a progress bar as it acquires each little piece of the target. And that one was done pretty quickly. We got a calibration was successful, and then we're going to confirm the quality of the 360 view image on the touch screen. So we can take a quick picture and take a look at what that looks like. Now that we've done the calibration, we want to go back, clear all DTCs, and then do a post scan on the vehicle so we have our before the vehicle was calibrated and after the vehicle was calibrated scan. Go ahead and turn the engine off and leave the key on. Perfect. We're going to go back to our auto scan. Race all the DTCs. 
and go ahead and re-perform our fault scan after we cycle the ignition. Green doesn't always mean good, but in this instance, looks like we're perfect. We've got no DTCs left in the system and a successful calibration. All right, so along with the i900 instructions that are built into the tablet, because it's an Android platform, we can also jump right on our preferred service information and navigate to compare it, just in case there's a discrepancy in what we see, or we need to go through the troubleshooting steps if the calibration fails or is unsuccessful for any reason. So in this instance, we've got the vehicle pulled up here, 2019 Lincoln Navigator. I'm used to navigating the OEM table of contents, so I'll go through here, select workshop manual, go down to paint and body, body and paint, and we can continue on navigation this way all the way through the driver's assistance systems. Also, we can just keyword search it and type in 360. We can bring up the 360 camera calibration directly in the service info. The same measurements we receive in the i900 tablet, which confirms to us everything is set up correctly for this calibration. Also, when we're in the service information, in the event we have to troubleshoot or do any other problems with the calibration, we can scroll down to the troubleshooting section and see what we need to do in the event that the target is not found or any other problems with the calibration. So thanks for joining us today with this ADOS calibration. As you can see, it's a pretty typical repair process that's gonna happen in an automotive repair shop. With the IA900, we got it done pretty quick.